What's up YouTube, it's Curtis. I got uh, some stuff to show off today. I'll try and go through it really quick because I don't want to have a super long video. Uh, it's just some Heritage, 2019 Heritage SPs. I got uh, Andahar, Rookie Cup. It's probably the nicest one I've gotten. Uh, Correa. Wilson Contreras. Luis Severino. Then I got a New Age Performers and a heart. And uh, these are all out of order, sorry. And then I got, my wife got this actually out of her pack. It's uh, Anthony Rizzo Clubhouse Collection. Then I got a couple scratch offs Goldschmidt and Freddie Freeman. Then I got uh, some stuff off of Sports Lots. Let me rearrange the stack. So, where did I put that? Well, anyways, I uh, ordered a um, 2017 Bowman Ronald Acuna first Bowman, and I got sent the I got sent the Bowman draft one, so it was the wrong one. And I have the paper around here somewhere. I don't know, but so this is the one I got. It's not the first Bowman. It's technically the second Bowman, I believe. Well, I emailed the guy, I doubt anything will happen if he'll refund me or anything, but I just went ahead and bought the first Bowman on um, eBay anyway, so. So I got both of them now, the first and the second, so that's cool. I did, this wasn't any less expensive than the, or more expensive than the first Bowman, so if I don't get refunded, it's not like I'm missing out on anything, this is only like two bucks. And then this, I heard a bunch of stuff about this guy, like on TV during spring training and just around YouTube and stuff. So uh, Pete Alonzo, first Bowman's. I got first Bowman Chrome. These are actually really cheap. I think that one was only a dollar. And then I got two paper ones, one for me and one for the extras for trades or whatever. So this guy is supposed to be pretty good. I have not seen him play on the Mets yet in spring training. I've only probably seen one Mets game and he was not playing. Tim Tebow was playing though, so that was kind of cool. Alright, here's some eBay pickups. for. Uh, I haven't bought any cards for this little collection I have going on. Um, 1959 Topps uh, Giants cards. These are all in really terrible condition, but it's, it's whatever. It's, I'm just trying to get all the Giants ones from 59. So, Red Worthington. Hank Sauer, Mike McCormick, and this one is like the Venezuelan back. I don't know if that's a real thing or if that's just how some, I don't know if that means it's more rare or not. I don't think it does, but um, Bob Schmidt, Johnny Antonelli, and Hobie Landreth. So I did not have any of those, so that'll fill out the binder quite nicely. Then this thing I got was a steal, I think. It was 24 bucks, and so I got 75 Robin Yount. This will be replacing a reprint I had. I didn't even bother looking this up when I was looking at reprints to replace because I figured this one would be like a really expensive card. And I looked up the other day, and there's some going for like 30 or 40 or, you know, 80 bucks or whatever. And I got the regular one and the mini one for $24. Now, I mean, it's got some, like, you know, soft corners, but all in all, that's really nice. I mean, the, the mini is even better. I think it has like one dinged corner right there, but, or maybe down there too. But yeah, so that's really cool. One for the Hall of Fame binder and one for the extras for trades and whatnot. So those are all my card pickups. And then I've kind of, I wouldn't say grown bored of uh, getting cards lately, but like usually when I buy cards I have like I'm excited about it or it's a card I really want or I've been wanting and when I buy it it makes me happy and lately I've kind of already gotten all the ones that I've always wanted to have and so now all the ones I've been buying are just kind of like well this guy's good I gotta buy him and this guy's a good prospect I gotta get that and I don't like have the feeling of I don't know kinda had like a lull in the collecting. I guess I've kind of grown a little bored, but hopefully once baseball gets going and more products come out, I can 
get back in the zone again. I actually just uh, pre-ordered a 2019 Donruss box from Hall of Fame Baseball Cards, and uh, I was filming this, and they called me, and apparently uh, something happened to where it, it looked the order looks sketchy. I don't know if my the address I have for my bank is different than my home address. I don't think it is because I give bank statements to this house, but I don't know. So he called and interrupted the video, so I had to start it all over. But Eric, if you see this. Please send me that box. <laughs> I really want it. Anyways, enough of that. Here's some other stuff I picked up. So in the midst of uh, getting bored of, not getting necessarily bored, but just kind of uh, losing the excitement spark I have had going for the past couple of months, I started uh, looking to other things to pick up. I mean, mainly like stuff like this hat and uh, I plan to get some new shoes and new clothes. I got a bunch of new pants. But also uh, check out the show on um, Netflix, The Umbrella Academy. Loved it so much I went and bought volume two. This is like the traded paperback. It's like six comics in one. It's pretty good. It's a little different than the show, but it's still really nice. I mean, it's beautiful artwork and beautiful coloring. I mean, if you've seen that show, uh, let me find, uh, you know who Hazel and Cha-Cha are. And they look insane in this, in this comic. That, like, so if you've seen the show, like, You'll know, like you'll recognize those guys. But really cool show. Picked that up, and it was funny. After I finished watching the show, I picked this up, and then um, I looked online, uh, like the next one after this, and all these ones had been sold out. And then there was a problem with the shipping; it didn't show up when it said it was delivered, and it was a big mess. But it finally did show up, so that's cool. And then um, some more comic booky stuff. Uh, I'm really into The Walking Dead. Me and my wife are. We watch it every week. And uh, I have gotten a few of the comics, but I haven't gotten any lately. And so right now where they are in the show is um, the Whisperers are making their appearance and that's going on. So I got the whole collection of the Whisperer War. So, and the cool thing about these comics is they all connect. Like they're all, if I didn't have them in these things, they all connect together to make one big long Kind of, right, do I have that right? Or maybe it's this way. Yeah, they all like connect together. So that's really cool. So that's all six parts of that. Last one has Negan all on the front of it. So that's really cool. I've only read like half of the first one so far. But yeah. These, this was only like 12 bucks, I think, for all six of these. So yeah, uh, tell me what you think of my pickups. If anybody uh, is interested in uh, Robin Yount Mini, I do have an extra one. Or a Pete Alonzo first, bow first Bowman. Or if any Cubs fans want all my Cubs relics in exchange for some Giants ones or, you know, just some other kind of cards. I got a 2019 Series 1 Rizzo, Heritage Rizzo, and a Chris Bryant. 2019 Series 1 Relic. Anyways, thanks for watching. Pepina Man, if you watch this and you go into HOFBC, tell him I'm not some credit card scammer and that's actually my card. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.